The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com. To all of our iPhone and Android users, make sure you have the Stitcher Smart Radio app on your phone. Use promo code David whenever that pops up to be entered to win 100 bucks, Lewis, and also support The David Pakman Show. You can also go to stitcher.com slash David Pakman Show. You know, it's amazing. Every single month, there's a huge increase in the number of people that are listening to the show on Stitcher. I have to say, I, I love the app. I've been using it for years. I didn't know it was getting this popular. And I know absolutely nothing about it. Right. Lewis's phone. You show your phone, actually. Why don't you hold your phone up just to show people what, what you're working with here? That's Lewis's phone. And for people who are just listening, it's just, I don't know. It's an old phone. I don't know what else to say. This should put to rest any uh, misnomers about how much I make on this show. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So there's this incident related to choking, a judge choking. Over the weekend, the Wisconsin State Journal reported that Justice David Prosser, quote, grabbed fellow Justice Ann Walsh Bradley around the neck in an argument in her chambers last week, according to at least three knowledgeable sources. And Bradley later confirmed the report. Supreme Court Justice Ann Walsh Bradley actually accused Justice David Prosser of putting her in a, quote, chokehold <laughs> during a dispute in her office earlier this month. Things are really escalating in these chambers, aren't they, Lewis? I love this. The facts are that I was demanding that he get out of my office and he put his hands around my neck in anger in a chokehold, she told the journal Sentinel. Over the weekend, there were a bunch of media outlets that reported on this, okay? What do you think, Lewis? was the angle that the conservative media outlets had on this. So remember, what we have is an allegation from the more liberal Ann Walsh Bradley that the more conservative David Prosser grabbed her around the neck and put her in a chokehold. How do you think conservative media portrayed this story? As if it might not be true. Absolutely. If you looked at Google News earlier, okay, I did a search for David Prosser on Google News. There's basically two stories that are two, two lines, two, two narratives that are so different from each other that they couldn't possibly even be remotely both true. Okay. The Detroit news headline said, Wisconsin justice accuses colleague of chokehold. Okay. That's accurate. That's what has happened. There has been an accusation made. We do not yet have proof. That is what has happened. That's news. That's news. Exactly. The blog care the number two, care2.com, had a headline that read, Prosser allegedly chokes fellow justice. Again, that's true. There that's was an news. allegation made. That's news. Okay. The conservative blog, these are the top four. Okay. So I'm not just randomly picking. These were the top four at the time that I looked this up. If you don't know what hot air is, you might read their headline, which is, quote, hit job on Prosser and say, wow, David Prosser is being framed. Someone is, is this is a, a concerted effort to smear his name by alleging that he put another judge in a chokehold when it just wasn't true. Now, again, Lewis, you and I know about hot air. A lot of people may not. They go on to news.google.com, David Prosser, two headlines have these allegations, and then we see hit job on Prosser. The aptly named the hot aptly air. named hot air. Exactly. And finally, there's the Fox News headline. And what does the Fox News headline read, Lewis? Wisconsin judge smeared, quote, he put his hands around my neck. Couldn't all possibly be true, as we know. And again, the top two headlines can be substantiated with facts. We know that the allegation has been made. We know an accusation has been made. It is simply fact. That is the story. Okay. The statement that was released by Bradley does accuse Prosser of putting her in a chokehold. It is an allegation. And both sources say Prosser has denied the charge. The hot air headline assumes facts that are not in evidence. If Bradley is lying, it could be a hit job, but there's been no investigation done. There is no evidence to back that up. It is just not news. It is nonsense. But again, if you don't know what hot air is, you look it up and you have absolutely no idea. And do I even really have to explain why the Fox News headline is nonsense? I mean, fair and balanced, self-proclaimed, there is nothing fair and balanced about this particular story. Mm -hmm. If they were covering both sides, okay, maybe they would say, Wisconsin judge accused of assault but denies the charge. That would be news. That would be substantiated by fact. Instead, 
It's simply a headline assuming there's been a smear of the conservative judge. Which we're used to by Fox News, the only news outlet that has to claim to be fair and balanced. Absolutely. And you know what? If you have to claim to be fair and balanced... I think there's something wrong. Greta Van Susteren called for the resignation, not of Prosser, but of Chief Justice Shirley Abramson. She said, while I have no idea who is off the wall, Judge Prosser or Justice Walsh or both of them, I do know one thing. Chief Justice Shirley Abramson sure is not doing her job to lead the court. She needs to step aside and lead, let someone else attempt to run that zoo. Brilliant. Fox News, instead of even addressing the fact that we have an allegation of a physical attack on a colleague, in a judge's office, she says, well, if this is even going on, then it's the chief justice who should resign. Incredible. Just a nonsense story. And again, the reason I, I care, the reason I get scared is if you just Google it and you see two stories saying one thing and then two stories just making stuff up, you, you may not be able to discern. The average person may not discern that. Right.